welcome back. Today we are looking at my top three favorite techniques that would be useful if you get punched. There are many different ways, many different techniques. Some of you will say, oh, well, you know, if the guy is trained, he's gonna punch a certain way and stuff like that. Cool, don't forget that the, the other person doesn't know what you're gonna do. So, my three favorite techniques will be Tenshinagi, uh, Hijishimi, and Kotsugeishi. And I'm gonna show you how to get them uh, down, done really, really fast if you really get punched and even if they move in. So let's have a look at this. So, technique number one, ten shinagi. So what I'm doing here, when he's punching, I'm not standing here just to advertise my face. I'm moving, as we taught. So I have to move while protecting. And of course, it's gonna be harder for him to punch me right now, so I'm in actually a really good place. I'm here, I, I have the full contact. What I'm doing here is I'm circling my right hand around, creating a nice lock in here. Then I'm taking him out and down. So that's the principle of Tenshinagi here. So let's see it faster. That will go down. So second technique, Hijishimi. Again, lovely technique when you rotate the shoulder. So again, same protection, protecting my face, getting into a place where it's quite natural for me to be in. Nice place to strike at the same time, rotating my left arm underneath the elbow or actually shoulder and just take him around. Spin him to the ground. And the third technique, Kotsugeishi. Again, this is really nice way if you're just blocking from out. And actually, he's putting the arm back, which is, I'm in the best place to actually put my other hand on top of his and just twist this wrist down while moving my hips. So I get here and then, which will literally flip him over if I want to. So this is, this is what it looks like in a full speed. We get here, you can see the power that you engage from the hip that goes forward. The wrist would probably not survive that. It will never be perfect. It will never look like you see it in the videos, the perfect combination of technique. What counts is that you not standing in the same place that you move into a safe zone where you can do the technique, where you can apply the nice atemi and just do the technique. So hopefully you enjoy this and we'll see you next week.